I don't know what set of drapes you're smoking, but holy smokes, we have to demonstrate today. We have a huge protest going on in Renfrew alone. There are over 34, roughly. Yeah, listen, yeah. I want to be clear, Angela. I've never said people shouldn't be demonstrating. I was responding to a caller earlier who was suggesting that politicians uh, might not listen to what the demonstrators were saying, and I was agreeing it's with him about problem. demonstrators. I was simply saying that chances are the politicians are going to go about what they plan to do anyway, regardless of what the people say. That That's my comment about the cynics. Yeah, I wonder if these protests, I, I respect people who who do that, and I think there are times when, uh, when, when protests work and when the government listens or has no choice but to listen to them. Uh, I just don't know if this is one of those times. I don't know if the government is going to change course on energy or if they really feel there's anything they can do about energy prices, regardless of how much people protest. Why do you think they're afraid? Well, because uh, they have no voice. They're just always looked upon as, oh, that old senile person doesn't know uh, how to add or subtract, and yet uh, people I who are elderly, and they are literally being skinned alive. issues for about a year now and uh, it started at the beginning of the year with a $1,200 hydro bill that surprised us. Um, I've got two young kids and uh, both working husband and wife. Um, uh, that surprised us, that caused us a lot of concern. My youngest son, uh, he ended up having to cancel his birthday party because we couldn't afford the ideas that we had planned for him. Um, <clears throat> then. Two weeks ago, I was speaking with Hydro because we had just received a $1,500 Hydro bill. I called Hydro right away and I asked them what's that about because I almost took a heart attack. And they basically said that the plausible reading that they had given us um, could be adjusted and that they were going to go ahead and correct that based on my meter reading that I'd given to them that uh, that day. Um, I find that the the uh, communication between the Hydro One agents that I've contacted for different bills like this can be very rude, very unsympathetic. Um, there's a lot of vague answers coming back at me, discrepancies go along with that. And uh, to be honest, I think it's very unfair that my two children now will go to the, the mailbox and they'll say, if a Hydro bill comes in, they'll say, Mom, guess what, we're going to have another great big bill. And my kids are 8 and 10. They wanted to be here to protest today. Why should 8 and 10 year olds protest about hydro? I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, I think that what's going on in the Liberal Party, they should be punished for what they're doing. It's very criminal and we're all paying. Uh, the victims are us, the taxpayers, and I think it's very important to remember that. We need results with Ontario Hydro and this natural gas issue. Just stop it. Give us the right to be able to have hydro without costing us a fortune. Hi, I'm Cliff. Thank I'm you. from Beckwith Township. I have a small business. In the last few months, my bills have more than doubled. My last bill was $1,180. I uh, just paid that. Four days later, I just got an additional bill four days later for $928. This continues. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have uh, just three of us in the house, small business probably have to sell the house, downsize. How much has your bill gone up since you've got a smart meter? Oh, more than double. And how much is your delivery charge of that $900? This last, the last one was $400 delivery. Out of a $900 bill, you've got a $400 delivery yeah, charge? There's something definitely wrong here. As a small business guy, I can't survive the way it's going. I have to uh, probably, like I say, sell the house, downsize. Because of hydro? Yeah. Hydro is, is killing them. I have a lot of stories about hydro. I'm not sure which one to start with, but I'll start with my cottage. Ten years ago, my husband and I bought a cottage. It was a package deal. We got two cottages for the price of one. And I got hydro bills for both cottages. Four years ago, we started renovating the main cottage to become our retirement home. We had called hydro and asked them to come and remove the meter so the contractors could start their work, which they did. 
a month later, and we only get billed every three months for this, a month later, I get a bill from Hydro. The meter is sitting on the ground. It's not connected to anything. I call Hydro and I tell them, you guys came and disconnected our meter. The meter is laying on the ground. Where the frig do you figure out that we get a bill here? So we get billing every three months. I ask them to make a note in their files that I have made this phone call to them that the meter is disconnected from the property. They say they did. Three months later, I get another bill from Hydro. This time, this bill says that they read the meter. I want to know how they can read a meter that's not connected to anything, that's laying on the ground, and send me a bill and expect me to pay. That's only one story. I have a lot of stories. Because I have these two cottages, I get three bills. They sent me what they call the real-time catch-up bill. So instead of getting three hydro bills, I got six hydro bills. Because, and they were like, like the guy earlier said, a couple days apart. When are they expected to be paid? Within a week. I'm going, are you kidding? They're, no, we're not kidding. We want all these bills paid right away. I called them back and said, okay, remove the meter completely from my back cottage that's only used barely ever because I'm tired of paying delivery charges for no electricity even going there. No electricity is being used there so just remove the meter because I am fed up with hydro. I call you, I don't get the right answers, I don't get any answers, I get treated rudely, I get frustrated and I'm like other people here, I don't even want to call you anymore. I am so fed up, I want our government, our corrupt government, to do something about this or we're going to throw you out. Thank you. My name is Yvonne Jones. I live in Elmont. I have a $457 hydro bill for not even being at my home. $47 for delivery charge. I go away for four months. I come home to a $500 hydro bill. I couldn't pay it. They cut me off. Two children and two months with no heat and I couldn't do anything about it. So here I am, a single mom, no on a fixed income and a bill I couldn't pay. Did they care? No. They let me go without my hydro and I had to pay the bill. In winter. In the winter time, at that, yes. So I think help needs to be here and I think that they real hydro needs to realize that what they're doing is ludicrous and it's wrong. Hi, I'm living in a rural situation. We're suffering a lot with high hydro bills. Uh, I want one thing. Ontario Hydro has to become accountable. They say debt retirement charges. How much debt? How much are you retiring? Why is there such a big sunshine list just for Ontario Hydro and Hydro One? 247 pages, 200 people on each page. Let's do the math. Homes, but they can't afford the cost of hydro. Like, what do you do? Do you feed your children? Do you pay your rent? Do you pay your hydro bill? Like, it's making it impossible for people to be able to get by and survive here in Canada. And Canada is supposed to be about democracy. All the big industries have pretty much left the province. Enough is enough. People are...